Oh, are we already recording? Oh, hello. Hey guys, it's Helen, and today we're gonna do a get ready with me video. And it's just gonna be a chatty video, and I'm gonna be talking about gap years while I do my makeup. So, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> I just tried to film this video like three times, and the first time I was rambling a lot, and the second time I filmed it, my iPhone started doing this weird like like in and out focus thing. I don't know. I had to change the angle of my camera a couple times. <sighs> so I'm like <laughs> this is such a great first get ready with me video. Let's let's give this another shot and hopefully it works. So before we start talking about gap ears, let me I've already done my face makeup because I've filmed this like three other times. <laughs> and um so I'm just gonna go through really quick the products that I've used so far today. I've used this Pony Effect Radiance Glow Primer. I don't, is this the thing that beauty gurus do where they like show their hand? I don't, I don't know, I'm not a beauty guru. Like, it's the Pony Effect Primer. I, I reviewed it in my last video, so, well, two videos ago, so yeah. And the second product that I used is this Misha Cushion, which I also reviewed in my first YouTube video. Yay. Um, the third one that I've used is this Etude House Concealer. Let me do the little beauty guru thing here. And yeah. So let's start talking about gap year as well. I do the rest of this makeup thing. So gap years. I'm on a gap year because of financial reasons. I was going to go to the University of Cincinnati and I got accepted into their DAP program, which is their art school. And I didn't know if I was into art enough to make a career out of it, but I was just gonna go for it because I didn't know if I was good at anything else. So yeah, so I just went for it and I'm so glad that this um, financial thing happened because I, I realized I wasn't into art enough to make a career out of it and go to college for it like now um, so yeah that's that's the reason why I took a gap year I guess the next thing I want to say is if you are considering a gap year I highly recommend that you do take one especially if you don't know where, where you want to go or what you want to study for college so taking a break is a really good opportunity to kind of take a step back and breathe a little bit and get just get a different perspective on life so yeah and even if you do know what you want to do and what you're gonna be majoring in what I can't talk today um, even if you do know what you're going to be majoring in and what career you want to have um, it's still good to take a break from school especially if you were an overachiever in high school and school was just all that you thought about it, it's good to get out and experience new things other than you know the little bubble of high school that you experienced. I didn't expect to grow as much as I did in the last six months. Like I'm meeting new people and I'm getting new views on on life and I'm learning more about myself and what I want to do and, and where I want to go. Because when you're in high school it's it, it almost kind of seems like there's nothing beyond High school and college like it seems like college is the end game and there's nothing beyond that at least that's how it was for me I mean you you know that there's life beyond college but it's it's hard to see that so yeah those are my reasons for why you should take a gap year so tips on taking a gap year well let's start with So my first gap year tip would be set goals for yourself um, so that you can form a plan and just know what you want to accomplish because, you know, nobody's going to be holding your hand at home or wherever you're going to be and telling you, you know, oh, you got to get this done, you got to get that done. You have to set goals and learn how to self-motivate and teach yourself how to be productive. Like for me, I write down a to-do list and I put it down, I tape it on my bathroom mirror so that I know what I want to get done during the week or during the day or whatever. And yeah, like I, I, some of my goals are to improve my writing and make YouTube videos every week and be consistent with them. And 
and get better at math because math is always my weak spot in school so I'm you know after work I'll come home and I'll get some writing done and I'll also look through like my pre-calculus book um, so that when I do go back to school I won't be you know so behind all right so tip number two is kind of a follow-up to tip number one um, is it's make a plan and stick to it because if you don't you know if you kind of go into a gap year a little aimlessly you're not really gonna get much done and it's you may as well just go on to school because if you don't know what you're doing chances are you're probably just gonna end up sitting around not really getting anything done or learning anything and it'll just be a year wasted so just take advantage of your free time and make a plan you know like if you want to make some money then find a job if you want to travel go and maybe find like some abroad programs if you can afford it or you know you don't even have to go out of the country during a gap year if you want to travel you know just go to a new city and explore a new city like um i i was living in the dc maryland area for the last 10 years of my life and i moved to cincinnati i moved in with some family and i'm not anywhere like big and special but i'm still going out and i'm exploring and i'm meeting new people and i'm just trying new things that i didn't know i would try and it's it's great i'm learning a lot and so i would definitely recommend just go out and just explore even even if you're just staying at home you can always find ways to explore the city that you're in you don't have to do anything like big and extravagant during your gap year that brings us to tip number three, which is go out and meet new people. I definitely recommend the app Meet Me, or Meet Me. I, I mean, meetups. It's, it's an app where you can meet new people by tight, like putting in your interests, and you can find groups that are, you know, based around your same interests. And. Yeah, you guys just meet up at like local coffee shops or local restaurants and just discuss whatever it is the group is about. Like for me, I joined a book club and I also joined a poetry group. Both of those groups meet once a month and because of it, I've met so many great people. Yeah, I just really enjoy it. It's, um, because it, it can definitely be hard to have a social life when your friends are all off to college and you know you're not part of like any groups or whatever especially if you're in a new city so yeah that that's that was my third tip and i don't think i have i don't think i have anything else to talk about with gap years i just think they're all around a pretty I think they're a pretty solid way to take a break and just do something different for once before you go off to college. And I still haven't finished my makeup because I I am terrible at this um, because I'm terrible at this at this beauty thing, this YouTube thing. I don't know. This YouTube thing is kind of weird, but I'm kind of enjoying it. So. You know, I think I'll keep making videos. I hope you guys enjoy the videos because, yeah, I know I'm kind of like uncomfortable in front of the camera right now because I've never really been in front of the camera before I started making videos and I think once I get more comfortable, my videos will start getting weirder. So that'll be interesting. So yeah. That was my video on gap years. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry I didn't finish my makeup on camera. I kind of ran out of things to talk about. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Come back next week because I make videos every week. And yeah, see you next time.